Buffalo sauce. Mm -hmm. So let's make a big batch. Okay. Let's say we got a bunch of wings and we want to store some in the refrigerator. Now, now remember, if you're going to make a bigger batch, think about how long butter lasts and think about when you store it in the refrigerator. That's about how long you should let that set in the refrigerator. So let's get that melted. So now you know how hot you like your hot sauce. Some people like it burning up. Some you like it like hot, ridiculous. don't you? I like it hot, but I don't like it to be uncomfortable. So remember, equal parts of butter and hot sauce. And in this particular hot sauce that we're using, it's just good old Frank's. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. Now one particular thing that stands out in one of our favorite wing restaurants is the flavor of celery seed. I can taste it. We're gonna put just a little bit in there. We're gonna take a little bit of garlic powder. All right, now we're gonna take some just white vinegar, four tablespoons. Okay, now we're gonna do four teaspoons of Worcestershire. That flavor is obvious when you taste, when you go out to taste your favorite Smells sauce. Good. And you know what? That's about it. That's it. Now, if you wanted to do just a little bit of cornstarch to thicken it up, I'm not going to. It smells good. I'm it's smelling. Really good. Is, uh, That's too simple. So I'm going to let that cook just a few more minutes, and we have buffalo sauce. Yum. We're also going to make meatballs. And your mom right. had a very famous sauce. It's so simple. Right. Everybody has their own meatball recipe. Just salt and pepper. Can I steal some of yours? You can. I like to do that. A little bit of garlic. We're gonna put that in there. And I have some breadcrumbs. You can get flavored. These are just plain. You can get Italian, put some of those in. And we're not really measuring here, but you no. know the amount and by the texture what you're trying to do. Everybody has their own little recipe. Mm -hmm. I like to add an egg. Some people do, some don't. And I'm just gonna Another mix it. Another very simple recipe. Yeah. But you know what? After they cook in their sauce and you put little toothpicks out, they're delicious. Those are gone. They don't last. Yeah. If you could get me our pan, I'll go ahead and roll these out. And you can buy these. You can buy meatballs frozen too if sure. you want. All right, now. One thing about these, they're going to shrink up just a little bit, so remember that. And when they do cook, they may flatten out on the bottom, so you can turn them if you like to do so. But generally, 350 degrees, we're yeah, probably preheating our oven to right now. Yep, 20 to 25 minutes, and they're good. Let's put these in the already preheated oven, 350 degrees. Right. And you say about 20 minutes. 20, 25. All right. Depending on the size. Now, your meatballs have come out. Right. And they need... They need some sauce. They need some sauce. Right. So this is partially your mom's, and it's kind of a combination of things we've done over there. Your right. mom, when she would make her smoky links or, or use little hot dogs or whatever, right. she would use... Just currant jelly and mustard. And she cut up little hot dogs, and that was always in a fondue at Christmas. You just poked up... Quick and easy. Right. Delicious. But red currant jelly and mustard, always. that yes. in itself is enough. If you wanted to do that, just that simple, that would be fine with this. Right. But we're going to add a few more things. What else are you going to add to this? We're going to add some of your barbecue sauce you made, uh -huh. some pepper, some of the honey from our bees, and then we have a little onion powder over there. And boom. Let's do that. All right. I got your little skillet ready right here. All right. So we start off with our currant jelly. Okay. We're going to put a whole jar in there. Let's put two tablespoons of mustard in here. All right. And this is just plain old yeah. yellow mustard. Or you could use the sweet and spicy, probably good, mm -hmm. any kind you like. All right, two of those. This is a little bit of our... It's your barbecue salsa. It's kind of a... What do you think, two of those? Let's do two Perfect. of those. All right. Your honey. Oh, I gotta have some honey. Gotta put some of the honey in there. Two tablespoons. All right. And then to taste, a little bit of pepper and a little bit of onion powder. And as soon as you get that boiling, we're gonna throw our meatballs in. All right, drop them in. And these are ready to go. And you could freeze these if you wanted, make them ahead and still just throw them in. But so there they are, and there they sit. Let's let them soak a while. Let them soak, and guess what? All you need at that point is a toothpick. Boom, bam. Or a fork, you can just oh, two yeah. at a time. Now the only thing we have left to sample is our beautiful little meatballs. Well, they should be good now. Is that real hot? Oh yeah. Wow. Yum. What a great way. Perfect. People will love that. Mm -hmm. You need dip. I've been working on a ranch dip a long time. And that's pretty good too. <laughs> that's really good. We'll start off with sour cream. Let's go a cup and a half on that. All right. And this is two cups, so I'll get you. Put a cup and a half. All right. We're going to come back with three quarters of a cup. 
of mayonnaise. And this didn't last long the other night. No, it was that was the it was gone immediately. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get that all mixed up. There are no calories in this. Oh good. Because if you put anything in a green bowl, really? It reduces the calories. Is that because it's Christmas? It's Christmas it's green? It's okay, Christmas great. magic. <laughs> okay. One more thing you can add if you choose to do so. You can put bacon bits or you can put bacon grease. I think the bacon grease made it good. <laughs> <laughs> this is large marge non-cured bacon grease. So it's the best. So it's the best stuff. Um, that's up to you. If your doctor says don't use it, don't use it. We use just a tad of that. It gives it a little bit, right. little bit of... Oh, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. First thing we do is add a half a teaspoon of salt and pepper. We're going to put some dry minced onions in here. And let's go, let's go a half a teaspoon of that. About a half? A little bit more. Go ahead. Just for good measure. Yeah, just however much of that you like. You're going to start to realize <laughs> this by looking. You put what you like. That's right. You put what, you, put what you, like. you like. You understand that those flavors are going to add or take away. Go ahead and let's put some of that dill weed in there. All right. On the dill weed, I'm going to go a half a teaspoon. I like the color and I like the taste pretty. and the flavor that comes out in that. Now let's come back with some chives. I'm going to go a tablespoon All right. on my chives. I'm going to also go with just a little bit of garlic powder. And then I'm going to come back with our onion powder. And since we've already got minced onions there, just the feather dusting of that. We're going to come back with probably, I don't know, three quarters of a teaspoon of parsley. Then I'm going to finish it off with some sweet basil, some dried sweet basil. And I'm going to put a half a teaspoon. Ooh, that really added. It smells good. Smell that mm -hmm. right at the end. I'm going to use a half teaspoon of bacon grease. Now you could use bacon bits or you can use tiny little pieces of bacon. If you want to have a little bacon in your ranch. Yeah. You smell that? That smells, I need to taste it. I know you do. So do I. Let's get a chip. All right. All right, you taste and then I'll taste. Let's oh my see goodness. You... This is one of my favorite snacks. Mm. Can I double dip? Oh, that's so good. And I'm going to give it one more shot of pepper. <laughs> We get the big pepper sugar. Right. We're going to use this for several things. We're going to mix and match and do some okay. fun stuff. She yeah. makes some appetizers for our parties that are just absolutely wonderful. Simple and delicious. All right, got our ranch dip out. Now mm -hmm. we haven't got it. We haven't got it in a pretty bowl yet. Right. But did you ever think about this? What? Just watch. Okay. Here's look at the consistency. Oh wow! Perfect. How about some of our yum buffalo? Oh wow! Now this this is just a something extra. Let's mix that up. Do I need chips? We need chips. Okay. Now look at that. Wow. And hand me a chip. Right here. Can I try? <laughs> try it. Buffalo ranch dip. Mm. We snuck that one in on you right there. That's good. So now we have, let's say, if you're going to do this for a pretty big batch, we're probably going to have to add as much as half to three quarters of a cup of buffalo sauce. Right. And if I had to guess, we're probably at about a third of a cup of ranch dip there. Then we're going to add a half of a bar, I guess you would say, of cream cheese. Right. Room temperature. Now we're going to shred our chicken. That we boiled. I believe that's Todd's chicken. Yes, it is. Isn't it nice to know where your food comes from? Yes. All right. Chicken is shredded. That's right. So we're just gonna stir this in. Okay. I thought like tonight because we get recipes that are that we can use together. Mm -hmm. I like that. This is no kidding. One of my favorite appetizers. I didn't realize it was as simple. This it's is really good. simple. You know what? You can put some green onions on there. You can put some chives right in. Of course, we've already got chives from our recipe. And now cheese. the cheese. And she said mozzarella, any kind. But we're using sharp cheddar today. So, what do you think? A half a bag for now. Yeah. What do you think? Need a little more liquid? I don't know. What do you it's think? Just a little bit. Hotten it up a pinch? Yeah. All right. We're just going to spread this out. Look how pretty. Yum. She said get all the way around the edges, right? Mm-hmm. Roll up as tight as you can. All right. Oh, it's a thing of beauty. Yes, it is. I love to roll things up. What do you think? We can just cut it in half and each take a bite. <laughs> a taco. Mm. All right. Let's cut a little bit more. Look, look how pretty they are. And the taste is just fantastic. <laughs> Usually the one on the end. That's what you're look, supposed to eat. See, that's not pretty, so mm -mm. you just have to right. get rid of that. What do you 
you think. That's so I'm pretty. gonna take just a little bit of chives, because we had those out already. Color those up a little bit, get it some nice. I'm telling you what, 